Today I am going over the homeschool curriculum that I picked out for my first grader this year. Grab a cup of coffee and let's get started. Okay, so I did so much research for homeschooling curriculum this year. I feel like it took me like two months to decide which direction I wanted to go. I knew that I didn't want to stick with um, the Abeka curriculum that we had used mixed in with a couple other things. I wanted to move on into more of a Charlotte Mason style. What it came down to, um, it really came down to like sunlight or my father's world for me. And I almost went with sunlight and I probably would have gone with sunlight if it wasn't for these two things. First of all, I love Beautiful Feet books. They are my favorite. I love the layout. I love the books that are picked out in it. And so I really wanted to incorporate that. Well, if we went with Sunlight, I wouldn't able be able to like go over all of the material for sure because Sunlight has so much material with it. The second reason why I chose not to go with Sunlight was because honestly of the price. It was a little more expensive. And even though I know I could have found used, it was still, um, I feel like it was going to be really pricey for what I wanted and I also heard that it's pretty rigorous. So I was afraid that we would get behind on our lessons and I wanted something that was a little bit more flexible which I heard that my father's world was a little more flexible. Um, so we'll see this year um, and I am very excited to say that I have picked out my father's world learning God's story for my son's first grade year. So I'm going to give you a little overview of all of the books that I got with this kit that I bought. So I actually bought the um, the My Father's World, uh, half of the books that we're gonna be using, the non-consumable books on eBay. So someone was selling um, a few different things with the whole set. They were selling the main um, teacher's manual, which is actually really pricey if you buy it new. Um, so they were selling this, they were selling the science books, they were selling the Bible notebook for $100. So I think it came out to like 100 and, 106 or so dollars for all of the non-consumable books that we will be using in our My Father's World this year. Then separately, I got onto My Father's World website and I bought the consumables. So I actually, the what I bought before came with the Bible notebook, which was great. So all I needed to buy was the math book, the student sheets, and the student workbook. So I bought all of those and that with shipping was like $67. So I'm in, you know, about $180 for my whole, my son's whole first grade curriculum besides the history portion that we're gonna do history and geography portion with um, my with beautiful feet books this year. So this is the My Father's World Teacher's Manual, and um, I am really excited about it because it has everything, like literally everything, lined out for you um, in this book for the entire school year. So um, I hear that it's pretty open and go, which is wonderful. Not to a whole lot of prep, which is really good for me because sometimes I don't prep well. Um, I like open and go, so I hope that I do find that it is open and go and I don't have a ton of prep. Um, my goal is to have all the supplies that I'm gonna need just like on hand already at the beginning of the school year. So first I'm gonna show you what I got off of eBay for the Learning God Story, My Father's World curriculum. So the first thing that I got was the Bible Reader. And the Bible Reader um, is, is just a little reader that is gonna be incorporated on a daily basis um, with My Father's World. Um, it has, you know, lots of reading for the kiddos, and I, I have yet to find out if this reading is actually done by them or if I read it to them, but it's a nice little Bible reader that we're going to incorporate. Um, the Bible notebook, as you can see, the Bible notebook actually is really just a plain notebook. Like, you could buy a notebook that has space for a picture and space for writing in it if you'd rather, you know, save the 20 bucks I think that it is. Um, and then we have the all of the science books, so things outdoors, um, science with water, and also science with plants. Those are the three science books. Um, one that I am excited about is the five-minute devotionals. So it takes a bunch of different facts about animals and it incorporates it with like a um, lesson on uh, being a good person and so I, I love that I'm excited to jump into that and it also talks about God's Word and God's family and it just lo looks really cool one thing that my kiddo is excited about is the pattern animals puzzles with pattern blocks so the kit that I got on eBay came with this one and it also came with the pattern blocks 
it's just this big bucket of blocks that are all different shapes that you can put together. So he's super excited about that. I'm trying to like keep him away from it because he wants to get into it so bad. And then the last thing that I got with it was the teacher, teacher's manual that I already showed you guys. Now on to the consumables. So a consumable is what a child would use to write in. So like all of their student, student workbooks. So I have um, one thing that I bought from the My Father's World website was the complete book of math. So I'm not sure if I'm going to use this a whole lot. We have been using um, Math Lessons for Living Education by Angela O'Dell, and I really like it. So we might just kind of do both and see how that goes. Here's a student workbook for my son um, that he can write in and, and do all of his work in. And then it also comes with a bunch of student sheets. The student sheets, there's just a bunch of them, and I, I think some of them are for cutting out and all that. So. I'm not really sure what I'm going to store them in yet. It's probably just a container um, because they are loose leaf. And that is a look at my father's world, learning God's story. It's what we're using for my son's first grade year this year. I am excited to jump in. We are going to be adding in a couple of different other curriculums, probably beautiful feet books, history and geography. I might go into American history some and also a year of playing skillfully because my pre-K kiddo is doing it. And so we're all going to kind of enjoy that together. I will have a more in-depth look at how I'm going to lay out all of my curriculum throughout the year in a few weeks. Hopefully I'll have a video ready for that. So be on the lookout for that. Thank you for tuning in. I hope this was a helpful video for you as you choose curriculum for your kiddos this year.